So we're doing a quick hive check on this real small hive. Um, basically, I added a frame of uh, eggs and brood. Basically, brood in all stages. So I accidentally added too much. You see here, these larvae. That small high beetle larva, the squirmy things, you want to kill those. You do not want those in your hive. Let's lift this one up. Oh, yeah. See all of them? If I put too much in here, these little maggots are everywhere. They will turn into small hive beetles and just take over this hive. So, I can either try to kill them all, which is what I'll do. Because I got another small hive beneath this. So, if you ever turn over your strips and you see little maggots crawling around, squish them. in the sun for a minute because they do not like the sun. this would have been just a catastrophe of small high beetles that one's dead all right so let's check on this basically one frame hive cells are empty also not a good sign might have been the other frame I put in here oh queen cell so they have one queen cell going it's capped so she should be emerging soon but these are the golden cordovans uh, you can see how like light colored they are so there's a bunch of brand new bees just hatched. This frame's hatching. Got quite a few bees in here actually. So you probably got a three frame hive. So you want to be really careful putting this back in. The queen cells on this side right here. So I'm not gonna pull this frame because it might rip the queen cell open. Usually, if you're a beginner, you want to take out the cell next, uh, the the frame next to it. See, I'm just gonna rem I remove all this crap here because it doesn't do any good. And what it does 
is. Make sure you remove the frame next to it. Harder. It will break. It will break the frame that's next to it. Like just rip up everything. So we'll take that off. Do that beforehand. And then when you remove this frame, kind of pull it towards you. Because eventually the frame gets a little narrower. See down here, it gets narrower right here. So you can kind of pull it and it'll shift. It'll shift towards you. There's just a crap a lot of new bees. But I'm seeing a bunch of dry frames, so hopefully they might need some liquid food here shortly. Sugars, it's mostly sugar, like I think uh, five or ten percent protein, so not a whole lot, but the moisture of the hive keeps it moist. Alright, there we go. Just a quick check. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh just try to Help you guys out little tips. Little videos, you don't have to watch a whole bunch of here's this tree and look at this farm and here's a cow. I, mean, I do that sometimes, but not very often. I try to make these videos short and concise for everybody. So you can just reference and then move along. But uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. You can send some thanks. Uh, I mean, even a dollar helps. Farms are expensive. Again. Yeah.